come over to Andrews. He was changing his oil and he fired up the old tuxedo fox. Yeah, you need to clean it up. Big time. Andrew hadn't started this thing in forever. Run good. So, uh, I guess we can cover it. Hell, we hadn't done it in a while, so. Yeah, 175, 650 Demon, stock motor. stock motor, stock bottom end, bone stock, and uh, what did the car put down? On a one, it dynoed at a 125, it'll be 430 and 504, two 530 to the wheels, guys, on a 125 shot, stock bottom end, and guess who did all the work to it? That guy right there. Home ported, went in, in his garage, cleaned these heads up, they're just a GT40 head. Uh, we haven't covered this car in a long time, and uh, I just thought about it. I said, well, I got the camera. We'll bring it out and show you guys what it is. Uh, the car needs to be cleaned up, but this thing still runs so good. 355 gears in the car, five low conversion in the back, disc brakes. It's got a lot of goodies underneath the car. It's a C4. And uh, the story behind this car, it used to be mine. Uh, myself and uh, Joe Nate back here, we took many trips from Alabama to Tennessee, Kentucky. I mean, this car was, was a really, really good car for us. And uh, Andrew ended up with it when he turned 16. Since then, he's carbureted it, you know, which is fine. He still got, he didn't cut any wiring or anything like that. Let's put some new quarter windows in the car. It needed those. So anyway, I just thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a quick run around of this car. And uh, obviously this is the car that's in the beginning of my intros. Uh, doing a little burnout in the driveway and whatnot. Anyway, guys, this is Andrew's other Fox body. That's Andrew's coupe. As you all know, that's the Calypso clone over there. And uh, yeah, just out hanging out with Andrew and Joe Nate today. Thought I'd show you guys the car. This, this is our car. This is the People's Fox. This is the car you guys watched me build on this channel from a POS that really should have been used for a parts car. You guys have watched this car, you know, be built from pretty much nothing. You're like the godparents to this car, right? So uh, I think it's really cool. I'm glad that you guys have been able to kind of come along on the journey with me with this car. I'm gonna throw a couple pictures up for you guys so that you can kind of see the progress. Maybe you're new to the channel and you have no clue what I'm talking about. If so, this is my 1989 Mustang LX 5.0. I bought this car from a friend of mine, uh, John. He bought this car to be a parts car for his red car, which we call the 1K Fox. So anyway, John left the car over here and uh, it sat long enough that I just decided I wanted to go ahead and buy it. So we did, we purchased this car for $300. It has a thousand dollar engine out of a donor car a convertible mustang that we bought that was absolutely trashed and uh we thought the engine was trashed too it had a blown head gasket but we fixed it got this thing back running and dropped it in the car cleaned it up uh, as far as the outside of the car uh, we put the cobra body kit on it's got a new bumper new fenders new headlights new fog lights thanks to john um has better quarter glass in it than what it came with thanks to Aaron Altry. The intake also come from a subscriber and I cannot think of who it was at the moment, but thank you so much. Feel free to comment down below whoever sent the intake. Uh, the paint job was done by myself, my dad, Andrew, my brothers. Just a, you know, a joint effort, I guess you could say. The wheels come from LMR. Um, the body kit we bought from a buddy of mine, Shay. So thank you, Shay, for that. Tail lights come from LMR. All this type stuff, right? The, tailpipes come off of the convertible car out back off the LX these are LX tailpipes so if you guys don't know it's the same thing as a Cobra the interior is still not done yet but uh, we are working on that uh, the seats come from LMR they are Corbo door panels have been redone new carpet new floor mats um, all that type stuff right uh, the car basically had all the brake lines had to be redone on it so I had to take all those out put new brake lines on had no fuel lines on the car 
uh, pretty much nothing. It had a rear end and a few interior parts whenever we got it. Uh, the wiring harness come from a subscriber, so thank you so much whoever sent that to me. This is an 89 wiring harness, so non-airbag. Anyway, I know that was a lot of information. I know you guys didn't ask for that, but I want to get you up to speed on uh, what this car is, right? So if you're new to the channel and you come across, you're like, okay, well, this dude's got a Fox body. Uh, why do I care? Well, this thing... Uh, is a phoenix essentially it has risen from the ashes uh it probably should have been crushed or either used as a parts car but i was hard-headed and i decided to go ahead and try to save this thing so that's what we did i always try to be as transparent as possible once again if you're new to the channel that's me that's what i do and i'm going to give you information that you probably didn't ask for every bit of the money that's been spent on this car to make it what it is this thanks to you guys for watching the videos. So by you watching these videos, that helped build this car. Also, there's always links down below that you can click. So I have an Amazon affiliate link down below. You can click that. You can buy dog food, cat food, cat litter. I don't care what it is that you buy from Amazon, but you can. And if you do, that helps fund this car. So I think that's a really cool option, right? Because I'm not, I don't have my hand out saying, hey guys, send me money, right? So we can build this. We have a total of about uh, 11 grand in this car right now, I think is what we're at, 10 or 11,000. And that's about to significantly go up because we have purchased a power adder for the car. It is on the way, guys. It is on a truck right now somewhere in the US and it is headed this way. There's a good chance that when we put this power adder on this car, we blow it up. There's a good chance of that. If that happens, not a big deal. We're going to pick up another engine. We're going to drop it in here. We may beef it up a little bit. Sometimes we're going to make some mistakes. We're not going to spend enough money sometimes. We're not going to buy the right parts simply because we were trying to stay budget, right? Well, the good thing about this is you get to learn just like I get to learn, right? So if we make a mistake and we don't buy a part that's good enough or the right part for that matter, you get to learn from that, right? You get so lost in the forums, the Facebook groups, and everything else with the elitist and the guys that have all the money, you get so caught up in it sometimes, you think, man, I gotta spend the money. I got to do this thing right. I gotta buy all the right parts. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna be half-assing it. That's not always the case. Somebody that backs that theory up 100% is Neo Mustangs and 5 Tustin. If you're not watching those Fox Body channels and you like Fox Bodies, I don't know what's wrong with you. Go check them out. What we've done on this channel up to this point is build cars, fix little components and like little things. Now we're going to move up into their realm, into their world. We're going to do some power adders and some serious stuff, guys, that uh, we've not really done on the channel. And we're going to try to save as much money as possible. Sometimes we're going to have to spend money. Sometimes we can save money. So what can we expect out of this car once we're done? Well, I hope that this engine lives. If this engine lives, then we're going to be able to make a decent amount of power. We're going to have a good, fun street car that we can enjoy. And that's that. If not, we have to make a decision. If we blow this engine, we've got to make a decision, guys. What are we going to do? Are we going to pull this out, save our pennies, and build an aftermarket block, a 351, a stroker motor? Like, what are we going to do? All these things have to factor in to the decision that I'm making right now on the power adder because there's a good chance... That we blow this thing up guys we have no clue how many miles this engine has on it it could have 300,000 or it could have 60,000 I will say this when we pulled the engine apart it was really clean whatever it's been well maintained either way now the outside of the engine looked like it was drugged down a dirt road it was bad so the inside of it looked really good here in the next couple of weeks we hope in the next couple of weeks guys you should see uh, some sort of power adder on this car and I really want to take you guys along for the ride I want you to be involved in it. So when we show up to an event like Ford takeover I hope you guys can make it. I know everybody can but when we show up to Ford takeover I want you guys to look at this car and think to yourselves. I was a part of that build I contributed to that build and you have never forget that essentially this power adder is going to be the 20,000 subscriber like payoff, right? So uh, we should have it done here pretty soon. I don't know. We'll see. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Uh, I'm downplaying it a little bit right now, but I promise you uh, when boxes start showing up, I'm going to be really excited. I will show you a couple things that we do have right now. We've got a few boxes right now. This is not even close to everything that will be showing up within the next week. So um, I'm not going to open this one up or that one up. This is a brand new cross member. And after I ordered it, of course, Andrew's like, uh, why did you do that? I've got another cross member. Thanks, Andrew. 
thanks for that over here we've got a new sve radiator i love these things the fitment is great they keep the car really cool and as you all know with any sort of power adder you're going to need some good cooling right this little dinky radiator over here was just a get by is not going to work it barely works to keep an na car cool i've had to tie it up right here we're going to make all this look nice we have a new transmission mount right here and that's as far as i'm going to go in this box uh because that'll give uh some other stuff away that we're doing to the car so we don't want to go there yet sure i like to build up a little anticipation i like for you guys to be excited about it but i'm not going to make you wait any longer the next video that comes out i will tell you guys exactly what it is we're doing even if the product is not here yet we'll go ahead and let you guys know that way you can be just as excited about it as i am so i guess real quick like we'll talk about what the plans are for the car uh it's not going to be a race car still going to be a street car we're going to drive this thing around will we drive it every single day probably not uh, we're probably not going to do that but we will drive the car around we're going to enjoy it hopefully take it to some meets still got a lot of cleaning up to do right i want whenever you look under the hood of the car to be really clean we got to buy a hood liner we got to finish the interior up we got to finish buffing the car out we got to put the splash guards back in the wheel wells we actually have to get the front of the car down to match the back you know that type stuff right just be as honest with you guys as possible all right guys i'm gonna go ahead wrap this video up and as always thanks for watching